Hello, I'm Mark Riccobono, President of the National Federation of the Blind, and today I want to talk to you about the United States Department of Transportation Inclusive Design Challenge, which was recently announced and is intended to explore innovative ways to have people with disabilities more um, equally included in automated vehicles of the future. You know, as a membership organization of blind people, since 1940, we've been working to put blind people in the center of innovations intended to improve opportunities for blind people. And we have a long history of people deciding what works best for blind people without including us. We're concerned about the Department of Transportation's recent announcement, and we want to encourage researchers and innovators that are planning to submit proposals in response to the DOT's challenge, and especially where it impacts blind people, that you include the National Federation of the Blind in your proposal. Blind people should be in the center of determining what the future looks like for blind people. It's better design, and it creates more opportunities for all of us. You know, we're coming up on the 10-year anniversary of the Blind Driver Challenge, where I was honored to represent the National Federation of the Blind by being the first blind person to drive a car independently at the Daytona International Speedway. That project worked because blind people led the way, working with engineers from Virginia Tech to build a car that a blind person could drive independently, an idea that no one really believed in except for blind people. And by having a partnership, we came to a place where we proved that it could be done. And that work 10 years ago put us in the center of the automated vehicle conversation. And we're proud today to be a founding member and partner in the PAVE Coalition to educate the public about the value of automated vehicles, but also push innovation for blind people and other people with disabilities. So if you're thinking about submitting one of those proposals, if you'd like to include the National Federation of the Blind, please reach out to us by sending an email to jerniganinstitute at nfb.org, and you can reach out to our Executive Director for Blindness Initiatives, Anil Lewis. Thank you for your work to improve opportunities for blind people, and thank you, most importantly, for making sure that blind people get to determine how we live the lives we want. The National Federation of the Blind. Live the life you want.